it comes down to, like, to not portray it wrong because, you know, people might think, oh, well, I'm not in the position to go and follow my dreams right now. For sure. I think a lot of it is about your mindset Mm -hmm. and about, like, working and being goal-oriented and kind of just, like, staying positive Mm -hmm. and staying focused on what you want and just keep pushing and going through the motions and doing the best you can and being the best person you can be Mm -hmm. and always trying to be a light to others. And Uh things will just come. Like your path will come. And yeah, some people, whatever your purpose is, whatever that is, like you just have to find it. Totally. You know, and you will. You just have to trust the process and trust Sometimes yourself. it comes yeah. earlier for people. Right. Sometimes yeah, exactly. it takes longer. I think that's also part of the struggle is yeah, you see someone get it really early on. Right. Mm-hmm. And it's obviously super frustrating, mm-hmm. you know. Mm-hmm. But the reality is if you go through like that process and you deal with these emotions yeah. and you go through it, it the grass is going to be so much greener right. on the other side. If you a lot of times it. the struggle is a blessing. Mm-hmm. Oh, for sure. Oh, like if you sure. character less and it makes you – grateful and humble and and also kind of back on what you were saying about like some people might not be in the position right Mm -hmm. now i think that's really important to acknowledge Mm -hmm. because everybody's circumstances are different Right. right and like some people um have a lot more opportunity depending on like their circumstances. But there's this exercise in a book that I love, The Artist's Way. Mm -hmm. There's an exercise that they have you do where it says like you make a list of, I think it's like a list of 25 dream jobs that you would do if like the world was at your disposal and you could do anything. Mm -hmm. And then they take that list and it's like, say one of your dream jobs is to be a drummer. You might not be able to like be a drummer tomorrow, but you can like go play rock band, right? Right. Or like, I want to be Picasso, but like, I can't be Picasso right now. Could I go get a canvas and and paint this week? Or like, you know, just looking at this list of dream jobs that Mm -hmm. you would love to do. And if your circumstances don't line up to that, you can still get fulfillment by doing something actionable that like, why do you want to be a drummer? Because you think drumming is fun or like, then, Mm -hmm. then, go get some pots and pans in your kitchen and like drum for a little bit. Right. You don't have to have a huge following to like right. feel the fulfillment of right. that thing that you want to do. Right. Yeah. I agree. So, I think once something she said a second ago that I want to touch on too, is that, you know, the, the concept of struggle and how mm-hmm. it makes you like want it more. And you don't really think about the flip side of people who, you know, have it all. Mm-hmm. Like I, I saw this podcast recently that David Dobrik just did mm-hmm. where he's like, I'm so glad I struggled growing up because if I was given $10,000 a month for whatever, yeah. I would not have the desire to work at all. Like yeah. I would have no motive after totally. high school or whatever it is mm-hmm. to to grind. Like the it's struggle makes you want so it so much more. True. Yeah. Like if you didn't have it, this what are you looking what, what are you searching for? Like the goal right. always is to become successful and and make, you know, and whether it's yeah. mentally, physically, whatever the kind of, kind of success you define it as, but if you don't have anything that's like pushing you or driving you to get something. Yeah. And it feels good to be able to have ownership over that. 